Hey piggy people! So today's video I just wanted to update you on Butter Pecan and our pet room. So we have got, no I've got to set this up better, but we have got a camera watching the piggy cage. So I just have to rig up an extension cord, get a bit longer one to go up and around the door so that it's not in my way. But for now, this is what we have. So it only looks into the herd's cage. I would have to have one at the other side of the room to look at everybody else. I tried setting it up in many different areas to see what was going to be the best view and over here on the left is the best. Now there is some blind spots. It's not one that can rotate or move. So the blind spots are like underneath the fleece. I can't really see under there. But, I can see a good chunk of the cage minus under hides, and it does make me feel better during the day that I can see where Pecan is. So I can check it on my phone, which is awesome. Hello! Hi sweetie! So it's worked out handy, so I've been at work and on my lunch, I will check on my phone to see what I can see, and most of the times everybody's sleeping. Sometimes I can't see any pigs because everybody's in a hide, but that's all right. And then there's lots of times where I've checked and I can see like pecans walking around or she's eating or she's drinking. So it is handy and it does give me some peace of mind. So during the night I am still keeping apple and pecan blocked on this side of the cage because I think that's just the best and they seem to do very well together during the night and there's absolutely no issues when everybody mingles back together for the entire day so that's what I'm gonna stick with because I have seen during the day um, some pigs still like bumping into her she hasn't fallen or anything like that but it still just lets me know that she is at risk for getting knocked around so in the daytime we're down here so often and as I mentioned before my husband's shift is different than mine so we're around a lot more often and checking in on her whereas at night is the only time where she could be alone for quite a while so we don't want that do we <laughs> love you do you want a little snack so that's all I wanted to really update you guys on which is nice it's good to have some peace of mind and I'm really glad that it works out well her and Apple through the night you're so cute. So I, Pecan's doing amazing. I think she's doing the best she has in a while because her pain's nicely controlled and she keeps eating a load of this Sherwood recovery food all through the day as I offer it to her. So she seems to have a lot of strength and she's pooping great and she's just in a very good mood and she's very active so I couldn't be happier. I try to get Apple to eat some of this recovery food throughout the day to boost up herself because uh, she has days where she's not eating as much as I would like her to see but she's incredibly picky for whether she wants to eat some of the recovery food. So Apple's still doing stable which is great. Um, her weight is 900 grams so since she had the kidney issue like the kidney stone she did drop a hundred grams but she's staying steady at the 900 so we're at the two month mark for Apple since she was diagnosed so we're just gonna keep going as long as we can I still have her on the Renovive which is the herbal pills that we were trying to see if it would do anything to the stone so I am not to get another x-ray for her until another two months so my vet said if she's doing well she doesn't want to x-ray her more than every four to six months so we have a couple more months to go before we're gonna have a little update x-ray which is fine because then that gives the another two months of Renovive to see if it'll do anything I have to shave her little bum again their hair grows so fast I find I have to shave her about every two weeks and it's not the most fun because she does not enjoy being held up so that I'm able to see her tummy and her legs properly. She absolutely hates it. So it's kind of been a challenge. 
but she definitely does way better with her bum shave to keep her nice and tidy and clean and dry. So we've got to do that again soon. Uh, everybody else is doing very well, which is always a bonus. So today when I'm filming is Canada Day. So I am off from work and I'm going to go help a friend move. We're going there soon. I haven't seen my friend for, well, since March, because, you know, with quarantine and everything like that, so it'll be nice to see her. So around here, you're allowed to be in groups of 10 or less, which I haven't seen anybody forever, so, yeah. Are you just going to keep eating and eating and eating? See, Pecan loves this stuff. I just wish Apple would eat it like Pecan does. Everybody else loves it too and tries to steal some. You don't need any Ray Ray. It's for the seniors. Nope, Apple's going to try to go in there. That was a big bump. What's happening, Tubbies? You're getting booted. Well, you don't care, though, do you? <laughs> You're so cute. Hi, Ray. I don't think you need anything, hon. You're still young enough to eat well on your own, right? Yes, I think so. Hi, Reesey Bear. Same with you, Reeser. Don't get too close to crab apple in there. No Reese, I am not it's not for you. Get apple. Yeah, see apple's so difficult. Sometimes she'll take some. And then other times she's just not interested at all. You don't need any, sweetie. You eat tons of pellets on your own, so I'm not giving you extra. She can, I swear, she could eat this entire dish if I let her. But I just keep this filled and it just sits up here and use it when I'm giving the meds. I do make Apple take some when I take her out for her meds so that she has something on her tummy. And then throughout the day and the evening, I just offer it to Pecan and Apple. Every once in a while, Apple will take a couple syringes. But as you can see, Pecan, like she'd love if she had an IV line with this. You're so funny. You're so cute. Okay, I think that's enough for now. What do you think? I don't want to overdo it. Hey, Reese, what are you doing, hon? Love you. Here's Mr. Huckman. Hey, Hucky. Digging through some hay, and I think Miss Velvie's over here. Hey, Ray. There's Miss Velvie. Oh, you're gonna bump into Miss Velvie. Hi, Velvie. Hi, sweetie. I think Velvet looks so gorgeous on this fleece. Did you guys see the picture I posted of her? This fleece was the background. I just think it looks really nice with her dark face and her white body. She's so cute. I think everybody in this cage is sleeping. I think Annabelle's right in here. And I believe Annie's in that corner. There's Miss Autumn, who looks so gorgeous on this fleece. Don't you think, Autumn? Autumn on the Autumn fleece? Hi, sweetie. You're so adorable. You have one of the cutest little faces, don't you? Where's your bubby? Where is he? I think Angus is in there. Yeah, I can hear him whining. Hey, gorgeous. You're so pretty. I just love how on one side she has, like, the black fur, and the other side is just orange and white. A different piggy, depending which side you look at her. Okay, guys, so I will...
talk to you all later. Bye-bye. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!